Today we are going to learn about uh, construction of planes using external angle on the left hand side reference. So in this construction we are going to construct with respect to the left hand side with respect to the edge or with respect to the corner. So in this construction we are clearly defining the first position of your construction. Okay. So, so it will be easy to understand you. So herein the construction of planes it is happening with respect to external angle and with respect to left hand reference and we are defining with respect to edge or corner. Say what is if, say, if it is say the first position constructed triangle with respect to edge means what will be your first position. If construct a square with respect to a corner means what will be your first position like that. Okay. So first we see triangle of dimension 25. So now it is with respect to the edge. So we will take 25 mm. And see in this so we can mark it so it is with respect to edge so first we are constructing a edge okay of dimension 25 then after that the constructing it you may take compass measure 25 and you cut two arcs okay cut two arcs then join it okay so this is what the triangle of dimension 25 with respect to edge you can show the dimension only only one side okay showing the dimension on one side it is enough Now similarly we are going to construct the triangle with respect to the corner same here 25 dimension this two and a half box okay. same procedure so already we have measured 25 mm using compass okay from one end you cut one arc from the other end cut the respective arc so way the arc has been cutted so you just join it so construction of arc uh, triangle using arc method it is easy so compared to the using angle so that's why i am showing the easiest method so construction of say construction of triangle with respect to edge and corner we have done now similarly we can construct the square with respect to edge you can see that so here the edge of side determines all the positions were there with respect to the edge here. So here corner it is mentioned means we will be constructing all the planes with respect to the corner here. So now the square of dimension 30 with respect to edge. Three, three boxes. dimension we can show on the one side so it is 30 so now we have to construct for a square with respect to corner so how it will be means first we have to take one uh, uh, dry line take a reference point okay so take a reference point so from this reference point you should okay you should mark for 45 degree on both sides okay so 45 so similarly here also 45 so mark for 45 degree on both sides then to those points draw a straight line okay straight lines and after that you measure 30 mm okay 30 mm from the scale say we have measured 30 mm so by measuring 20, 30 mm so we can cut the arc on both sides so after cutting the arc so remaining part of it just erase it 
so this is what the length we require then again taking the already we have measured 30 okay 30. so by measuring to the 30 mm from the compass we cut the another two respective arcs okay so now join it now join it using the scale and drawing straight lines okay so this is how we construct so remember when constructing the square with respect to corner you have to mark a reference point and taking the angle of 45 degree on both sides so this is how we construct the uh, triangle and scale square with respect to edge and corner okay now similarly we see for the pentagon okay so pentagon with respect to edge you have to construct so here we are going to use an angle of 72 degree so for the pentagon 72 degree external angle so first it is 25 dimension it is 2.5 centimeter okay so we have drawn 25 mm now from this reference point say with respect to the corner of the length of the line so place it and then we have to mark the angle 72 degree okay here it is 70 71 and 72 degree so we have to mark exactly so that is our first point similarly at this point see this point so we have to keep the compass again and we have to mark again 72 degree 70 71 72 degree okay marking these two points so with respect to here okay we will be drawing a straight line passing to this point similarly here also okay 70 72 degree here it will come okay so we have cut it now we will be measuring 25 so cutting the arc for 25 mm okay so after cutting the arc you see that so from this reference points so we have to cut another arc and from here also from this point we have to cut another arc so that's how you can join okay. so after constructing this you can erase this okay and you can show the dimensions for one side and here I will show the angle for reference 72 degree and here also it is 72 degree angle so similarly here also we construct the pentagon with respect to corner so 2.5 now we have to mark for the angles Seventy two degree. So we have uh, marked the angle. Okay. Similarly, so we can draw a line. Again, we will mark a point here. Seventy two degree. Seventy seventy one seventy. So now we have to measure 25 mm. I think we have measured it already. Okay. So cut the arcs on both sides. Now from this point, cut another arc. Okay. 
and we can join So I will show the dimension on one side. It is 25. So now similarly we can construct the hexagon. Okay. That is our dimension 25. Okay. Now here angle we have to use. For the here external angle it is 60 degree so we have to mark for 60 similarly at this point also we have to mark an angle of 60 So now we have to cut for 25 mm machine. It is already cut it. So it is already we have taken exact 25 mm dimension. So that we will cut it here on both sides. So now we get the reference points. Now you see with respect to placing these points here. To this point we have to place it exactly. Okay. Again we have to mark a point of 60 degree here. Okay. So two times you have to use the compass here, protector. Sorry, protector we have to use two times here. So again you can see here, like this you can place it and mark for again 60 degree. Okay. So after constructing this. So what you have to do is from this point, so we already measured 25, so cut the arc and again from this point also, you can cut another arc. So cutting these arcs, so what we have to do is we have to join these two points here, a straight line. So after joining these two points, so these things will show a bit. So now we can show the dimensions and angles and it is 60 here we are using two times angle is 60 and here also angle is 60 again with this angle angle is 60 and this also 60 so this is how we construct the hexagon with respect to edge the same manner so we are going to start so in order to construct second with respect to corner means we have to start from horizontal line okay so remember it so dimension 25 mm and again we have to use the protractor two times here so angle 60 okay so similarly now at this point, so it mark an angle of 60. Okay. So now already we have measured 25 mm length. So we are going to cut the arcs. Okay. So now again, we have to keep the protector here at these points and marking an angle of again 60 degree. Again, we have to use the protector here. Again, we are going to mark an angle of 60 degree. Okay. So now already we have measured the length of uh, 25 mm from the compass. Okay. So that uh, 25 mm length can cut the arc. Okay. So after cutting it, so so these two points you should join using a straight line. So 
so that's how we so we have constructed constructed the hexagon with respect to corner position and you see this so 60 degree angle so we have used twice here okay so now after finishing these things you can rub it these parts okay after finishing the hexagonal plane you can remove these things okay now we have to construct an uh, in this circle we don't have edge or corner here so only thing is we have to take a dimension here diameter uh, 30 means we have to take uh, the radius radius of 15 correct so that is the one point uh, 15 mm that is 1.5 so we have to consider a radius and we have to 15 mm so draw and circle we're considering 15 mm radius 1.5 mm 1.5 mm 1.5 uh, centimeter or 15 mm okay so this is the circle so if you measure the diameter so it is exactly the 30 so we can show the dimensions of the diameter like this So that is okay, 30. So this is how we construct a circle of diameter 50. And here this is having external angle of 60 and this is external angle of 72. So this is how we construct the uh, planes using the external angle with the left hand side as a reference with respect to edge and the corner.